Chief, can you please do another reaction video on Benzi's latest video? This is never a good idea. We think so differently. But I guess something happens in this video. And sure, it's always good to see stuff from two sides. And I really don't have any videos I will make today. So let's do this again and destroy my channel just a little bit more. Hi there folks, I'm Captain Benzie and welcome to another weekly developer Q&A. Oh, I'm sorry. Much better. It was up, Benzie. Session for Eve Echoes. I uh, do apologize for the different environment around me. I'm sitting in my stepdad's office using his laptop because mine's in for repair as the GPU and CPU were exceeding temperatures of 100 degrees Celsius. Yet yeah, not a fun situation. I'm looking at my laptop being out of commission for two to three weeks and possibly having to buy a new one. Yay! If you do want to help support me in this endeavor, because yeah, Lord knows. I think I'm it has COVID. Just go out and buy a new computer i probably will be looking at building a desktop rather than getting a new laptop now that i'm back in the uk um please do head across to my patreon my paypal tip jar or my redbubble merchandise store all linked in the description would be a huge help right. obviously q and a we were told we weren't getting one this weekend i'd be getting it on monday here we are on saturday afternoon with a developer q and a because heaven forbid that netties actually be somewhat reliable we've got four questions asked by you the community answered by exile this week who is the top mana at the netties eve echoes team so We'll see what he's going to answer and how ridiculous the questions are this time around. I do apologize for last week. I know I got a little bit over enthusiastic. Some people didn't like the oh, really? suggestion of walking out into traffic if you're that much of an idiot. You actually said that? I'm going to have to spank you, Vinci. Guys, I shouldn't be condoning suicide. Definitely, that's... Definitely not not you know where i wanted to go with that one i was just trying to be funny and kind of said the wrong thing so hopefully you'll accept my apologies on that we'll try and write it in just a little bit this week we are closing in on fan fest as well i'm very excited to be heading up to i just want to say that those who didn't take it like as a joke they probably walked out on traffic and cannot see this video Iceland between the 20th and 24th of September. Apparently, I'm going to be running some staff uh, interviews and that with some press as well. While I'm Expensive. Up there. That's pretty exciting. Nothing confirmed yet, but could be good fun. Anyway, Eve Echoes weekly developer Q&A for the week. Hell yeah. To 14th of August. Let's go. Number one. PvP being such a big part of the game, it'd be very nice to see an update on kill marks we really have as the marks are not accurate as displayed on my ship. What? Okay, so kill marks work in basically base 10. You get one kill mark for every ship you destroy, apparently including pods, although I think that's the most ridiculous yes. thing ever. It makes, makes them absolutely pointless and super easy to farm. Those go all the way up to nine. Once you get a tenth one, there's a row above that starts. When below. When those go all the way up to 10, then it, you know, above? resets in a line above. So I think it's below. You display up to 999 kill marks on a vessel. Correct. Now, in EVE Echoes, whenever you score a kill on anything, whether it is a pod or an enemy ship, you gain a kill mark. And that does count for every single ship of that hull. It's not just the ship that you've done the kills in. If you've got five different, say, stab of fleet issues, like your Vetemune, then if you score kills on ship... Hold on. Vetemune? I always say Vetemune. Have I been wrong all my life? Then ship number five will also display the kill marks as long as they are both stabber fleet issues or whatever. So yeah, I'd like to see actually a complete rework of the kill mark system. Yeah, me too. Like pod kills don't count. And that exactly. Ship specific, not hull type specific. But hey, maybe yeah. that's just me. What no, that's say? me too. Hi, thanks for the feedback. If you could contact the customer service and let us know which ship you're sh seeing this issue with, <laughs> we'll definitely yeah. take a look and see what's right. going on. Yeah, fair enough, because thinking about this, the kill marks are not accurate. You only get a kill mark, I believe, if you are the final hit on the kill mail, not just if you took part on it. So that could be where you're thinking, why don't I have all the kill marks that I want? And some ships do display them a little unusually. That Sounds like a bug or, you know, there is actually some ships that have these issues. 
I can't like off the top of my head say which one it is, but I I believe some ships have these issues. But I mean, it's definitely not a Q and A question. Is this worth a develop Q and A question slot? I really don't think so. We have wasted an entire quarter of this week's DQA fl uh, like footprint just on a can you please fix the kill marks on whatever ship I'm using, along with no details about it whatsoever. That's yeah. a customer support issue. Yep. Go sort it. Yep. Question number You just wasted our time. I'm joking. Number two. Hi, can you please add immunity to warp battles, bubbles for shuttle? Yes. The shuttle should be used for easy, fast, and above all safe travel. What? I don't think so. Really? I don't think you should be immune whatsoever. I think even interceptors should, you know, not be able to go through warp bubbles. But um, I think warp bubbles should be dangerous. And since we have high sec and low sec, that is like perfectly safe almost. Then I think if you go no sec, then I mean, that's where you have to be active. Now you can be AFK in high sec or whatever. But yeah, I don't think it should be a way to you know, prevent warp bubbles from working. But on the other hand, you know, if there is like, there could be something maybe works, you know, I mean, it's not impossible. I just don't like it. Like personally. Perfect for newbies and the boat would finally make some sense. Yes, this is how it should be. Shuttles should be immune to warp bubbles as a standard thing. Like why should they though? Interceptors should not. Interceptors should have a uh, definitely not. mode that lasts for, say... That's a good idea. Activatable mode. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, I agree. 10 seconds that allows them to be completely... Yeah, or like one time. This gets rid of the concept of cargo interceptors being a thing for offline autopiloting. What am I going to do? She tries to kill me. I couldn't say it better myself. But if you still want to go from deepest, darkest nullsec to Jita, you just have to sit online and press the bub the, 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 the no bubble button once per jump. It's really not. Yeah, difficult that's a good idea in to do it. Good one. Then once you hit low sec, then you can suddenly log out of your phone and just let it do the rest of it. That to me would make sense. It gets rid of yeah, me too. K cargo hauling whilst still allowing you to do it. If you're willing to be logged into the game, it makes interceptors a bit more interesting and it gets rid of that just flat out immunity but well about that i think we should use the haulers more so we got haulers that can cloak wouldn't it make sense to you know make even more haulers that have a cloak and maybe warp bubble immunity i don't know like why should we haul stuff in interceptors it's just dumb the immunity on shuttles makes sense because that is indeed the very point of shuttles. Is it really? I see no point in shuttles except just keep them and just have them. Like you have no cargo space. You can, what, you can, you can transport like 100 blueprints, whatever. That's like everything that you can. You can't even, like an MK5 weapon, you can't fit that in. Yeah, I see no reason for using those. It's how they are in EVE Online, and I still don't understand why they're not that way in Echoes, because in Echoes it means they are absolutely useless. They are it's a different game. Pods, but with a 10 cubic meter cargo hold, which does very, very little. And faster warp speed. Make sh shuttles utterly immune to warp disruptors, uh, to warp disruption bubbles. Yeah, I'd be all for that. I'd be all for that, and I think it should be taken away from interceptors and replaced yeah. with an activatable mode. And if you're going to uh, cry best. and complain to me that, oh, but Benzie, I like being able to AFK autopilot. Yeah, so do I. It's fun. It's nice. But it doesn't help the game. And quite no, frankly, no, it doesn't. You should just be able to log in, just log in and keep the phone open and just press the button once a jump. It's really not difficult. If you're not willing to put that much effort into the game, Maybe this game isn't for you. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so I agree to that. But at some point, it should be dangerous to be AFK. I do know where Benzie want to go with this, but, but the game still is a mobile game. And most people, like, look at the mobile games today. It's not as active as PC games. It's not going to be that active. I mean, both me and Benzie, we hope, like, we'll pray to the gods, right, that this game would be... Eve Online on mobile, you know, different, different, but you know, the same idea. And it's not, you know, it's not, it, it's, it's, uh, it's more a mobile game than a PC game. So of course stuff is not going to be the same way as Eve Online. And sure, I don't want it to be like Eve Online. I do like some stuff in Eve Echoes that is, you know, AFK. If you're not willing to press one button every 30 seconds or however long. Dude, if I cook food, I cannot 
press every 30 seconds. If I'm mining, I want it to be mining for 20 minutes and then I can press. <laughs> but I'm not gonna go PvP, you know, AFK. You know, it's different between being active playing and doing the active stuff like the harder content or whatever compared to just, you know, There's a problem. slowly farming not any because good. you want to do something fun later that evening. I don't know, that feels a little bit over entitled to me. Anyway, what does XR say? We currently don't have any plans to add immunity to warp battle bubbles. But keep saying battles. Are you warp thirsty, Pansy? Shuttles. Yeah, good point. The shuttle is not designed for combat. That's good. said it was. You're acting like warp destruction bubbles <laughs> only affect combat vessels, like, you know, not haulers or miners or stuff, XR. Giving it too many attributes may not be beneficial to ordinary players. Too many? What do shuttles have? You put your weed in there. Nothing? And I was trying to make a fitting for a shuttle. I was, I thought, you know, that would be a fun video, but it wasn't because there was not much I could do. But will be used for transporting materials with multiple accounts, like interceptors already are numb nuts. Yeah, or haulers. Damn, this is the guy who is the top man. Dog e echoes, like you're saying. Was he a top dog? I thought I was the top dog. Echo hull AFK in a ten cubic meter ship, but here have an Atron interceptor too, because you know why? Atron interceptor two requires you to be tech level ten, which means you've got to have been dedicated to the game and paid all of that juicy, juicy moolah. They don't give a crap about shuttles; they just want you to be paying as much money as possible to them. That is such a dog shit answer there, Exile. Seriously, yeah. the shuttle's not designed for combat and oh, giving it too many attributes. We're asking for immunity. It has very few other attributes. It doesn't have <laughs> slots. We know it's not a combat vessel. What do you reckon people are going to use the shuttle for? You put for? your weed in there. Mm hmm? We're asking for the shuttle to make more sense and be something that is actually used because right now, the second you reach... I'm never going to use it. ...fly interceptors, the shuttles have zero use anymore. Like, you would just fly an interceptor. Even if it's just naked, you'd rather use an interceptor than you would a shuttle because what's the point? But no, netties, we're not going to do that. We're not going to add warp immunity to shuttles, although they really, really should because it might mess with something. Goodness knows what, though. You put your weed in there. Uh, Exile, if you're watching this, seriously, just do that. Don't be a dumbass. Like, seriously. He's a dumbass. The attributes, it's got no other attributes. It'll be used for transporting materials with multiple accounts. So are these interceptors. <laughs> so fucking dumb. And... You put your weed in there. Question number three, then. Because, good lord. Hi, devs. Is it possible to develop a module that allows the ability to see how many players are in the next system over? Uh, what? And a warp gate to show numbers. Many players use a scout account to do this for free, but as a mobile game, it isn't always possible for your mobile player base giving an unfair disadvantage. No, an unfair disadvantage. God damn. What is this question? What is that? That module? never have to happen. Actually, pop your head in. I play a scout. I am yeah, that's what player. I do. That is the playstyle I enjoy in this game. I want to be pl flying things like probe explorers, asteros, these fast, nimble, cloaky ships. And you guys want to take away what little gameplay I have left. Exploration is already fucking awful, boring, and practically non-existent. And yes, I'm including the Cobalt Edge side of things because you know what? That's ridiculous. I Oh, God. No, I'm not going to go into that one in this video. Why not? Exploration is already in a dog shit state as it is. Scouting, because we now have Corporation Clash being thrust on us harder than something that thrusts very, very hard. I'll let you guys fill in the blanks on that one. Yeah, scouting is quickly dying off in this game. So rather than actually allow a scout like me to poke my head into the fucking neighboring system, you idiots want to take that away from me as well? Get yeah, do not do this. This is the only thing Ben I have. This is not a positive question. Why don't you just show all the player numbers on the star map, right? What is the point in any of this at this point? Why? Why do you want the ability to see how many people are in the system over? Because you're sick and tired of being an absolute idiot and getting jumped to end rail and caught in a bozy game. What? No, <laughs> I didn't. And I'm sorry if you're writing this question. I genuinely want to know what your freaking thought process was to remove scouting as a role from the game, as a player based role, and just allow you to fit it to whatever freaking ship you want. Oh, my poor little, like, science or whatever. I jumped it into a hostile system and got stuck in a gate camp. That's unfair. No, you're just a fucking idiot, and you want to change the game around you to fix that rather than actually having any form of scouting. You know what? You can sit there and say, oh, many players use a scout account to do this for free. Yeah. There's nothing stopping you doing that. It's Everyone can do it. Yeah. So you just have an alt 
that you level up to tech seven or even tech five. You can just use a standard, not even tech five, tech three standard probe with you can be an alpha cloak. you just jump it into the system it's really not hard or better yet in a massively multiplayer online game you could maybe get some fucking friends and join a corporation rather than try and change the game to suit your solo ass playstyle. that oh no my poor carrier got destroyed because i'm too dumb to figure out how to play this game in a meaningful way no, I'm angry at this. Yes, of course I'm angry at this. I am a scout and you are advocating taking away what little bit of playstyle I have left. Dude, this is scary. I feel like he's talking to me. Because you're too much of an absolute moron to figure out an actual gameplay way around it. So you want to add in a goddamn module to do it for you. Interesting suggestion, says N Exile, because of course he fucking does. We'll definitely <laughs> talk about it and see if it's something we can work on in the future. Meaning, yeah. do you reckon that players like our poor, hard done by carrier pilots might actually spend more money on this? Can we roll this into a nano core? Yeah, probably. They're going to roll this into a nano core or make it some kind of module that's ridiculously inexpensive to build or just can be bought out of a bloody shop for a month when it first launches so that you idiots said it who fly these ships and have no concept of how eve actually works will just swipe your credit card to your heart's content because if you can't be smart enough to learn a game at least you can pay your way to the top right <sighs> question number four before i have an absolute meltdown on that one i'm gonna have an aneurysm in one of these videos what What's an aneurysm? Watch, that's why I'm putting the camera on. So you guys can, sh you know, forward that to the doctor, to the hospital and go, this is what caused it. Question number four then. Thank you for your constant fixes and updates to the game. Get your nose out of the developer's ass crack, please. With regards to recent update fix to the, fix to the AI system? What fix? It's still dog shit. We it's better. We're grateful you fixed the activation issues of the modules. However, these caused some modules to be immediately activated, armor reps, cap battery, and drone amplifier, that caused dips or premature exhaust of available caps or waste activation time. Is there any possibility you can add sliders to tailor the <laughs> AI system? I'm not even going to read the rest of this. Absolute fucked up. That's actually a good idea to have sliders, but do we need it though? Question. Seriously, stop playing the game now. If this is you, just uninstall this goddamn game and let the rest of us enjoy it. This is what is killing. Don't tell me to stop playing the game, man. I'm gonna play it the way I want to. The game, hands down. You know what? If you want to play the game optimally, pick up your damn phone. Take it off the table. Actually hold it in your hands and play the freaking game. <laughs> If you want an AI core to do it all for you, then why don't you just hand your phone to someone else so that they can play it for you? Who would do that? Like, honestly, like, would my kids do that? No. Well, they probably would. Like, honestly, like, an AI is more cheap than just putting it into someone else's hands, I think. What I'm reading here is, I want to be the game to be as good as if I were playing it without actually playing it. If you no, it's more like they want to do the tedious stuff, you know, AFK. That's all it is. That against playing the game. Seriously, uninstall. If you do not want to play this game, if playing this game, actually holding your goddamn phone in your hands. Did you have a pink phone? Pretty cool. But much, if this is too much effort for you because you hate this game that much, you don't enjoy. I just gotta say, this is a lot better than this. Because you're gonna get some back issues this game uninstall be happier with your life because this dog shit ai system that nobody asked for but got oh, that's true on us and now absolute mouth breathing keyboard turning idiots are just piled <laughs> onto it's wrecking it for the rest of us right rather than make a I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal. Play. No, they want you to swipe your credit card to get these dog shit systems because holding your phone in your hands to actually do this content is too much effort for some people. But if you look at all the mobile games today, I mean, every, every game is AFK and they make shit ton of money. No wonder this is the same. And it's not weird that everyone who still are on this game plays it like it's a mobile game. Many people do. The ones that are accustomed to mobile games and keep putting money into the game. Because they get what they want. We don't have enough players in the game that say this is not what we want. Of course we have a shit ton of people that say this is bad, this is crap, and we can see it in Discord, we can see it on Facebook, we can see it everywhere that NetEase posts stuff. 
that people don't like it but those people just left the game now the only people who play the game is idiots like me who cannot stop playing this game because i love it it's players who run big alliances and have a huge community and it's whales and regular you know mobile game players everyone who wants the game to be different is not here so when they just look at all the graphs and stuff they think oh shit 99% or like 80% is really happy with the game because like the 250% that left and we get other players who say this is fine that's where we are I just I don't get it I don't get it you want the game to play itself and you want the ability for the game to play itself to be as good as if another player were actually playing it that is what you're asking for here right i'm not misinterpreting this that is what is being asked for here please can you make the ai core as good as a freaking active player no there should be a downside for being a oh there should be there definitely should be afk I, as someone who wants to actually sit and hold the game in my hands and interact with it, should have better rewards than someone yep. who just wants to literally log in, press Definitely. Button, sit down, and go the fuck away and do whatever the hell else they want to do in life. This is a video game. You should be rewarded for playing. It's a mobile game. You should be rewarded for swiping your credit card or just being online, I guess. No, I get what you mean. I'm just joking. Yes, you should be rewarded for playing. And if you want to do it AFK, it should take a lot longer time. Pretty much like being alpha, you should be able to do everything, but everything should take a, a long time. And if you want to, you know, be do Omega or Omega or Standard or whatever, then it's going to be quicker for you. It. Not just for starting it up and leaving it on your desk while you go and do something else. And quite frankly, if you want to go and do something else rather than play this game, does that not tell you something? <sighs> I swear, Cloud and Exile, both of these idiots are just like, oh, which questions that have come across my desk this month can I use to inspire more payments in this game? Rather than actually, what can we do to make this game better and more interesting for our player base? No, it's how can we take more money from our player base? That is all these idiots care about. It's all they want. They're not idiots. That's not fair of me. Ex you're not idiots. I know you're not idiots. You're incredibly smart. You figured out ways to get people not just to part with their card, uh, card details and their hard-earned cash, but to actually be excited to do so, rather All than right. excited to play. I agree with everything. Like, there's nothing I can say. He's right. Why should I react to this one? So yeah, the first question was just a waste. The second question was what? What was that? What was the second question? Oh, the war bubbles, right? I don't think anything should be safe from war bubbles, but as Benz is say, if you can have something that you activate, you know, once every jump or whatever, or every time you land in a bubble, you can activate it if you're there. I think that's fine. Then we have uh, the module that C players on the <laughs> on the next system. <laughs> if we're getting that shit, we're gonna get a module that C people in 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 wormhole space. So no, please, man, come on, man. Be kind to us. We pay money. We need other stuff. And then, of course, the AI system with sliders. You know, I don't think it's a bad idea. I don't think, you know, uh, you cannot slide that shit to be better than me anyway. So it's, I don't think it's a big deal. But anyway, you guys take care and I see you guys again. Have you been on the internet again? It costs a lot of money. <laughs>